Hey guys, welcome back to The Crafty Couple. Today we've got three Dollar Tree DIYs using canvas frames. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. To make the smaller lantern, we're going to grab two 5x7 canvases from Dollar Tree. The easiest way for me to get this off was to grab a flathead screwdriver and pry up the staples and then grab pliers and rip them out. Then go ahead and take the canvas off because all you'll need is the canvas frame. Then to make the shape of the lantern, you'll need to take apart one of the corners. I just ended up breaking it apart. Then put the other canvas through the hole and hot glue the corner back together. Measure the middle on the bottom and the top so you know where to put your hot glue. Then put hot glue on those two parts and put the canvas on top. To stabilize the lantern, I'm using two unfinished beads that I got from Amazon and I'll leave a link for that in the description and I hot glued it to the shorter part of the canvas so that it all can stand up straight. To decorate this, I'm putting a candle inside and then also using this lamb's ear that I got from Walmart. After I decorated it, I decided that I didn't like the unfinished wood look, so I'm grabbing some Truffle by Waverly Chalk Paint and I'm watering it down and just going over the whole entire thing. Then go ahead and put the candle inside and cut off some pieces of the lamb's ear and wrap it all around. To make the larger lantern, you're going to need two 8x10 canvases and do the same thing that we did before. For this one, I decided to stain it with a dark walnut minwax stain. Then I'm going over the top with the white Waverly chalk paint because we're going to go and distress it after this is dry. Then I wet distressed the whole thing using one of these green pads also from Dollar Tree. Then again, we will go ahead and break one of the corners to put it over the other canvas. On this larger canvas, the other side did come undone a little bit, so go ahead and hot glue that as well. Then measure out half on the top and the bottom again, which is four inches. Hot glue both of those parts and put the canvas on top. To stabilize this larger lantern, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree's Jenga blocks. Then hot glue both of those to the bottom. I added two more Jenga blocks as well so that when we put a candle in the middle, it doesn't go sideways. To decorate this one, I'm using lamb's ears again from Walmart. And then I'm using peonies that I got from Amazon and there's a link for that in the description.
then for this project, I stained two six by eight canvases, broke off the corners once again, and I'm going to hot glue them in the middle. Instead of making a lantern, I decided to turn it sideways and put these glass jars from Dollar Tree inside. To finish it off, I just put greenery from Walmart inside. For this project we're using the 6x8 inch canvas frames and just like we have been removed the canvas and just use the frame itself. We did listen to your comments so we're going to remove the whole canvas from it instead of cutting it out. And I'm interested to know what you guys like to do with that. Let us know in the comments what are some of your favorite projects that you use the extra canvas for. We're also going to be using these tumbling tower blocks. I ended up using 12 of them and 4 of these canvas frames. The next part we'll want to go ahead and stain all of the blocks and canvas frames. Our favorite stain that we've been using is this dark walnut from Minwax and we'll have a link for that in the description below. Once they're all stained we can start gluing them together. As always we typically use hot glue just for time purposes. If you're wanting a stronger hold I would definitely recommend E6000 or maybe like a Gorilla Glue. Uh, that way it'll last a little bit longer for you. This part is completely optional. What I'm doing is gluing the blocks on the bottom of the frames. I felt like it just gave it a little bit better look and added to the overall design. What I'm doing is gluing another block onto these that we've already glued on the bottom of the frames. And you want to make sure you're gluing it onto the actual block and not the frame since we want these to sit a little bit lower than the frames themselves. Next what we want to do is place our canvas frames on a piece of foam board and trace the inner square. And we'll just cut that out with a razor blade. And what that will allow us to do is place it at the very bottom of our box planner and that will hold anything that we put in there. As you see, I'm gluing right here and then we'll just slide that foam piece down in there. For the middle sides of our box, we're gonna use a piece of poster board and I measured it at 12 inches long and five and a half inches tall. After we've got our lines made, we can go ahead and cut that piece out and use it as a template. And I just lined it up on the rest of the poster board that I had, traced it, and then cut out the three other pieces that we need. For our box, we decided to do a fold at every half inch. So what I'm doing here is measuring in a half inch, making a line, and then we're gonna start folding there. Just fold it back and forth all the way down to the 12 inch mark. Now it's very easy as you start folding to get bigger and bigger folds. So just keep an eye on it. You wanna keep them as close to that half inch mark as you can. Once all our pieces are folded, we can go ahead and use this brilliant silver spray paint. That's gonna give us the base for our metal look. To distress it and give it more of a metal look, I'm using this ink chalk paint from Waverly. We'll have a link for that in the description below. I like to dry brush it on and then use a wet and dry paper towel to blend it in and give it a little bit uh, more of a refined look so there's not those harsh paint strokes. After we've painted all of our pieces, we can start gluing in all of our sides to the planter box. I started by gluing it in the corner and then adding a little bit of glue at the very top and then at the bottom, that way we'll hold it a little bit more flush against the canvas frame.
I tried to do all of my gluing and seams in the corners where the frames are, that way we don't see them as much. So if you do have a little bit of that extra poster board, go ahead and cut that off. For the flowers, we're using lamb's ear and lavender from Walmart and cotton from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. It took us a little bit of time to figure out the arrangement so we didn't show that. If you'd like to see that, please let us know in the comments so we can show you next time. Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.